the life of Joseph and the lessons that we can learn by looking at this man's faith and obedience in the midst of unbelievable trial and tribulation is a message that should comfort us when we face difficulties. Meet Joseph. He was Jacob's favorite child. Faithful in trials, became a slave for a while. His brothers hated his smiles and colorful robe. Wonderfully clothed, fights with his brothers arose. Joseph had a dream they hated even more Because in this dream Joseph was greater for sure In this dream I had, I was the dude in charge All bowed down to me, yeah, the sun, the moon, and stars Jacob rebuked him, who do you think you are? Then one day his brothers viewed him from afar Plotting on Joseph, conspiring schemers They were planning a homicide on the dreamer Come on, let's kill him with blood gushing, oozing Man, no, let's not suggest it, Reuben Let's not be rebellious killers So they sold him as a slave For shekels of silver They took Joseph's robe Then the goat they slaughtered Then they went home to go show their father The robe of many colors that was soaked in the blood Jacob agonized because Joseph he loved They threw him in the pit And sold him as a slave They threw him in the pit And sold him as a slave They threw him in the pit And sold him as a slave They threw him in the pit And sold him as a slave, him as a slave. God was with Joseph Potiphar could see this That was the name of Joseph's master in Egypt Joseph was a handsome one With piety Righteous. But Potiphar's wife said Come here, fly with me Joseph refused He had a lot of dignity He didn't want to sin against the God of the Trinity Then one day Joseph refused to give in But Potiphar's wife still accused him of sinning Joseph's in jail Then emerge on the scene A baker and cupbearer He interprets the dreams Just Tell Pharaoh so I'll get out of jail The cup ever forgot his promise bound to fail After two years he finally recalled ah, That in this realm Joseph was finer than all Joseph's brought to Pharaoh he predicts the famine Pharaoh puts Joseph in power sitting commanded The famine hits hard it's no signs of rain Jacob sends his sons to Egypt to buy some grain Joseph recognized him Times are strange, Lord provide a change in his eyes, there's pain, all this pain surfaced, Joseph's remembering, then he sends them back, he wants to see Benjamin, Benjamin arrives, the Lord kept him from danger, when Joseph saw him, he wept in his chamber. They threw him in a pit, and sold him as a slave, they threw him in a pit, and sold him as a slave, they threw him in a pit, and sold him as a slave, they threw him in a pit, and sold him as a slave. Joseph then tests them and puts a silver cup in Benjamin's bag, but then he's filled with love. When Judah confesses and then takes the blame, Joseph started to cry and then states his name. I am Joseph, whom you sold and made a slave. The God sent me here to embrace the pain, to preserve life, for in this place I reign with major fame. Please now take this grain, because God has saved us with awesome greatness. Please return to Egypt with your father Jacob Joseph sees Jacob and on his neck he cries Jacob says now I can Joseph. die cause you're yet alive Now in this place most cats would hate But Joseph forgives see this act of grace You meant it for evil but God meant it for good In the same way Christ was sent to the wood Or the cross where Christ was abused and bruised But God foreordains what humans choose Dude, it's true, the best of these stories is found at the cross where God's getting his glory. You should listen, see God allowed evil from foul people at the crucifixion. So we need to observe and notice, brothers, God meant it for good when Joseph suffered. So we need to observe and see this, brothers, God meant it for good when Jesus suffered. So we need to observe and notice, brothers, God meant it for good when Joseph suffered. So we need to observe and see this, brothers, God meant it for good when Jesus suffered.